Hello and welcome to the Miscast table. My name is Jonas. And my name is Mons. And today we're playing some Warhammer Underworlds once again. It's the second game of Harrow Deep. And uh, it's really, really fun to play this new season. I think yeah. that these rules upgrades are a most welcome change to the game. Yeah. And I like that you call them rules upgrades, not changes. <laughs> uh, but that, that's, uh, <laughs> that shows your stance on things, I, I guess. And yeah. I feel the same. Uh, and that's why I brought the Eltaine's Soul Raid today. Yeah, mm -hmm. and whilst you have the newer warbands, yeah. I'm stuck in the past, so I'm playing once again one of my favorites, the Chosen Axis. Yeah. And I hope that whilst they have some issues in the past, that this new season will have them fit for fight. Yeah, I think they've gotten some, some upgrades this season, but are they good enough to take on the Soul Raid? I guess we'll see. <laughs> uh, but I, I brought these guys because I think that they can make uh, great use of the Gloom mechanic. Because they have a very, uh, very easy time to get supporting attacks. Yeah. And one supporting attack when you're on a Gloom Hex, you have uh, basically yeah. all successes. So. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm going to try to... Uh, I know that my movement skill isn't the best, but I'm going to try to keep them away from you. All right. Because uh, I think that these guys might have a suitable playstyle. Alright, you, you brought something interesting then, I guess. It's gonna be <laughs> I, ho I hope so, at least. Yeah. But uh, do you have any parting words for your warband? Because otherwise they're gonna get the axe. <laughs> no, I don't have any, any parting words, but you, you should give, give some to yours, I guess. Uh, <laughs> And as you might see, uh, we've gotten some, some feedback from uh, Kenny and some others about uh, the cameras being mirrored. Uh, yeah. But now we have both cameras over here. We have one here and we have one up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now it shouldn't be mirrored and we're also going to bring uh, keep making use of the new UI with the health bars that, that yeah. you have made. So. Appreciate all the feedback on both the, the camera angles yeah, and the UI. But um, any ideas is most welcome. Like, yeah. how can we do things better? Because we're only two, and out there, there are a million ideas. Yeah. But, uh, what do you say, Mons? Should we get into the game? Yeah, we should. Uh, all right, so I start with the roll off. Crit and a hole. Good as always, better mm. as usual. But you seem to want to. You wanted me to pick. Okay, all right. I, I start. I pick the board. I, okay. in, I'll indulge. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's see what I want here. And you, you gave away some information. I think keep away from from me. So I yeah. guess I don't want you to use any of these uh, blocking hexes. Oh, but that's a scary one. <laughs> that's a scary one. Um, yeah, but why not? Let's go with that. Is one. that your board side? Okay. Yeah, this is my board side. I kind of want this one, but for once, I think that we're gonna play a long game. You wanna play a long game? Yes. All right. Long game. That was. But you only have a movement of two. Is this wise? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We never got an answer, by the way. Uh, no one commented on on the. Yeah, if you can hexes. check on the. Yeah. After you place the. The, these objective tokens, and you place them gloom side up. Are you allowed to lift them up and check that there's an objective or not? I never got an answer, <laughs> uh, and I'm still <laughs> still confused. Yeah, but uh, it should be we should be able to remember. But I've said uh, that multiple times before. <laughs> yeah, and we also like playing chess as a hobby, and we can't even remember. So <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> it's pretty dark. That says something about our chess careers. Yeah. Uh, depth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> depth one. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sad stuff, to be honest. Uh, all right, <laughs> but our, our poor chess, chess skills aside, yeah. uh, I'm gonna put mine over there. Okay. I think I'm gonna be, I need to make sure that I have enough space on my side. I'm gonna put one over here. All right, where can you put here? No, you can't put one there. You can put one over here, and then you can't place any other on your side. All right, so I'm gonna, Basically force you to put it somewhere else. Okay, but that is one of the spaces where I would like <laughs> to have a hex. So yeah. I'm, I'm content. I think I'm gonna put it over here. Over there. Way, way back. Alright. Um, then I'm placing the final one. Over there. Okay. Alright. And then we have these ones. If you want to place one? Yeah, I think I do. Alright. 
Ska de make it tricky så att jag har to remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess so. I think uh, I won't place. For going. No, I'm just placing it here in the back because okay. it doesn't matter. It can be over there. Unless I have that card that teleports you. <laughs> teleports me. <laughs> I don't think you have that card because <laughs> I might have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's draw some cards. Yeah, I do actually have it. Uh, it's a card where you stand on an edge hex and then you can basically teleport another edge yeah. hex. Yeah, you get uh, a movement counter, so you lose you lose an activation basically. Yeah. But I, I did bring that card. Because well, you don't lose an activation, but you no. get. Uh, yeah, you lose a the uh, opportunity to, to move. Yeah. I think yeah, I'm I'm gonna discard both of mine. I, I can't work with this. Sorry. Or no, wait. Yeah, you, you, you just put them on the bottom. Yeah, and, and then, then you, you draw three more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you reshuffle it afterwards. Yeah. Then I'm gonna do the same here. One, two, three, four, five. And I think I'm gonna keep keep this hand. And I think that one as well. Keeping both. Yeah. And then I shuffle. Yeah. Uh, so we have a roll off to see who starts placing. Yep. Yeah. We need to put it like this if it's supposed yeah, okay. to be in frame. Uh, Alright, crit two halves. That's that's a good roll. I need basically two crits to beat it. Uh, Almost. I don't get it. <laughs> so, I think that I, I'll have to start deploying fighters. Alright. So, I'm gonna have uh, Fjol Grimner. Over here. Uh, I'm gonna start with placing Mr. Krabs. Over there. And he has three life, right? Three life, yeah. And he has the scuttle. Reaction after friend, another friendly fight's activation. Push this fighter one hex closer to that fighter. I'm gonna have Mad Megrim over here. Yeah, you're, you're keeping back. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, Tamael, he's called, right? Yeah, over there. And I'm gonna have... The long Volk. games are always interesting, I think. Um, and I'm gonna put, maybe I shouldn't have placed the crab over there, but that's, that's too late. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put moment later. Yeah. And finally, Tafe goes into play. And I'm putting leader, leader dude over there in the back. And spine fin is not placed. Yeah. So, as I managed to deploy first, the dwarves are the quickest. Yeah. I get one crit. Oh, and another. Oh, man, I need to roll really good for this to work. <laughs> nope. Okay, so I could decide on going first. Yes, I think I'm gonna start. All right, you're gonna start. Yeah, and uh, correct me if I'm, if I'm mistaken. Dune Claw, when you scuttle with him, yeah. do you need to go towards the fighter that you have moved? Yeah. Okay. So if I move this girl over here, then he has to yeah. go towards. But her. if you if you move Elothane, then you can't move him. Otherwise, other than backwards. No, unless I manage to get here okay, or okay. some yeah, in some weird way. So I'm gonna make a starting movement over here. And do you want to play any actions? I don't want to play any right now. Okay, then it's your first. So then I'm going to make a charge action with Furia. I'm charging over here. She has a movement of four, yeah. So I'm gonna move over here. Okay. And making an attack action against. Who is it? Is it Tafe? Or... He is uh, called Take Flame Bearer. Alright. Uh, so I'm rolling three dice and I am looking for swords. I get a sword. Oh, one sword. Okay, so I'm looking for a defensive roll or a double. Yep. Crit. Crit. That's better. That's, Perfectly that's fine. Better, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I am going to scuttle. So I can either go here or here. I am going to go over here. Sure. I'm gonna have a hard time keeping my guys alive, but I think I'm gonna make another movement action. And I'm gonna go over here. Alright. Regular move action? Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm being a bad, bad uh, <laughs> token master. Doomclaw, yeah, he can move. He can just move as well. Yeah. 
Um, that's that's a bit interesting. I'm making a short action with uh, Tamar over here. Okay. Uh, and then I'm making an attack action, and then I'm going to play a reaction on fair fight. Play this during a friendly fight attack action after the clear attack uh, attack action step. If that friendly fighter has one or more supporting fighters, stagger the target. That attack action is grievous until it has been resolved. Okay, so if you roll any crits now, I deal one extra damage, and he is staggered as well. Yeah, so you get to re-roll one. Yeah. Uh, that's not very very good. Uh, I'm rerolling one. That's I get one, one successful, success. yeah. and I have one defensive roll. Looking for, well, shield, single or double support. Yeah. Crit. Crit again. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarves wow. are on point. Yeah, they definitely are. And I do not want to play any cards as yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. Do I want to scut though? Is the question. I think I do. I'm I'm scuttling over here. Oh, there. Um, scuttle, scuttle. And, uh, I'm gonna make a move action. <laughs> You're gonna make a move action. Yeah. I should do this. I should have done this before, but I'm gonna place a shoal token. I'm gonna place it over here. The shoal token. <laughs> so bothersome. That yeah. One. Yeah. I'm. I'm passing to you. You're passing to me. All right. I don't have anything I would like to play. I don't think. So weird to not play any <laughs> cards. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Um, but I think I'm, I'm save, saving myself. So we have uh, El Thane, I mean, he has a movement of four. Uh, so I think that I'm gonna just move him over here. No, over there. Okay. So then it is my final activation. Should I just make a charge action? I, I hate fighting with this guy because he's so bad at fighting. <laughs> he does deal two damage. And I think that. Uh, what's her name? Furion doesn't have a whole lot of life. So I'm making a charge action over here. Mm. And I am fighting with my great axe, looking for hammers or smash. Oh. oh. So, I, but I think, that, does she have two defensive? Mm, only No, she has two, looking yeah. for dodges. So. Double <laughs> dodge! <laughs> Double yeah. dodge. But you can still push me if you like. And I think I do want to push you. I'll drive you back. Get yeah. you. All right. Do you want to play any cards? It's your 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 Maybe, priority. Yeah, yeah, priority. So I'm gonna play Terror Light Venom, and choose one enemy fighter against it to one or more enemy fighters. You can more one more friendly fighter. You can reroll one attack dice in the attack rolls for the attack that you made uh, by friendly fighter against that target chosen fighter. And it persists until the end of the round, or okay. until the target fight is taken out. I would like to play Duel of Wits. Right. Draw some power cards. Draw some power cards. Uh, and in the end, I would like to make uh, um, Spine Fin appear yeah. up, out of thin air. He arrives. Um, the nick of time. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you, you could say that. Um, and then it is your final activation. My final activation. Yeah, I want to make a charge action. With Doomclaw over there. But can he go that far? Three? Three? Yeah, okay. Yeah. He moves three. Yeah. yeah. He knows he's not scuttling this time. <laughs> he's uh, making regular stuff. So I'm rolling two dice looking for swords. I get the support, a which support is good there. enough. Yeah. And let's see if I can roll that crit again. I get, you get a, a support, but I don't think that's good enough because I'm not adjacent to. Uh, no, that's not. Yeah, you're not adjacent to the, to yeah. the attacker. Yeah, that's right. So you don't get, but you no, you don't get double support either. Yeah, so you take um, two damage. Two damage puts me down to one life. I'm not gonna push you. I'm gonna let you stand where you are. Okay. Uh, so what happens then is that I'm gonna score this immediately after an activation if three or more friendly fights are in enemy territory. Sure. And they are. Um, First point to yeah. Elephant Soul Rail. Yes. I would like to flip a token. Alright, as your uh, yeah. first. Alright, do I want to do anything? I think I'm flipping one. I'm flipping this one as well. Okay. And um, I want to flip this one. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm playing uh, uh, Great Strength. On to uh, Furia. Oh, I need to kill her. <laughs> no, <laughs> please don't. Okay. 
And I'm gonna flip another token. Yep. And do you want to play anything? I don't want to play anything else. I might. think I want to do it like this. It might seem odd. Yeah. But uh, sh uh, the earth shakes. Choose a fighter and push them 1x. I want to have Dune Claw over here. Alright. <laughs> yeah, he can be over there. Do you want to do anything? Uh, I don't want to do anything more. Okay. So uh, it's uh, my score instead, right? No, I started. So. Yeah, you started. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. So I get to score one of the new ones. Alright. Lost in Shadow. I your warband, your yes. warband holds two objectives. One or more enemy fighters is in a cover hex. All right, yeah, that's the final. <laughs> yeah, I looked at that one, but it's. Uh, I, I don't know if it's that great, but it goes into my game plan. Yeah, it, it's it's hard because you can't control. Oh, you, you did control, but it, yeah. it's difficult to control what your enemy does. Yeah. And I would like to score dominant position. Yeah. All right, the dwarves are, are delivering. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, as I have some. Uh, points to give. I'm gonna upgrade Fuel Grimnir. I'm gonna give him Grimnir's Blessing. And I'm gonna give him uh, Grimnir's Fortitude. <laughs> and suitably, as he is a very important fight for me, I'm gonna give him Champion's Fortitude. Well. Alright, so all three on Fuel Grimnir. Yeah. yeah. It's the second turn, so they all inspire. Well, not all of mine. Take the why doesn't take? Oh, because he's not. All right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. Uh, so it's my scoring step. Yeah. Uh, we have looming threat. Score this in end phase if two or more friendly fighters are adjacent to the same enemy fighter. Oh, nice. You almost messed that up for me <laughs> by pushing him. <laughs> all right. So I'm also gonna spend the glory that I just received and uh, play Sanguine Pearl. Reduce the damage dealt to this fight by adjacent enemy fighter attack actions by one to a minimum of one. On to oh. Furian. So I, I really <laughs> need to deal with her. <laughs> yeah, so she has both great strength and sanguine pearl. And I'm gonna keep both of my objectives, draw one new one, and then I'm gonna draw four uh, four cards. So the, the the score is four to the access and two to El Thane. Yeah. So remind me now. Uh, do I get to flip these feature tokens back into gloom tokens? You can, yeah. Okay. But you have to wait until the end of a turn. Okay, only in the end of the turn. Yeah. yeah. It's the same uh, thing. So let's do a roll off. Uh, I get the crit and a half. Okay, that's a good roll for you. And you are better. Kind of like having the last mm -hmm. activation, but that. Times like in the <laughs> second turn, you usually want to like, okay, I need this this thing to happen. Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna make a charge action with uh, this girl over here. I'm gonna end up here. Uh, and she now rolls three dice looking for hammers. Let's see. Uh, one uh, hammer. And one additional s success from the support. Yeah. It's rolling one die, so I basically need a crit, regardless of how fine. Uh, and now she deals three damage. Three damage is so, so very much, but I am down to one life. Oh, he's still alive? Yeah. He's a tough guy. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> the dwarf brothers yeah. are... Yeah, he has four, four life. Yeah, yeah. Y just due to him uh, <laughs> inspiring. <laughs> All right. Uh, but I'm gonna score this. Branching Fate, sir. Score this immediately after an attack action. If you roll three or more dice during the attack or defense roll, and they all show a different symbol. Oh, they do. cool, cool. Um, and I also have this one. Impending Doom, sir. Score this immediately after an activation with one or more enemy fighters adjacent to two or more friendly fighters. Oh, score this. So now we are equalized. Equalized, and I am wounded. Uh, and I'm drawing two new. Uh, objective cards. You're not gonna play anything? No. Uh, I am gonna play something. I'm gonna play this one. Uh, Forgotten Nightmares. Oh, oh it's the one there where yeah. you get to make me. Yeah. So when a man in fight makes an attack action, pick one enemy fighter as the target to attack action. Unless during the declare attack action step that enemy fighter player discards one power card, the effect persists until the end of the round. So now you have to think about this until yeah. the end of the round. I'm gonna put it here so we know that it's okay, okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna yeah, try right. to make something uh, where you have to. Hmm. Uh, Elothane, he has three life, right? Uh, I think he has. Yeah, wait, where is he? No, he has four life. Four life, damn it. I was so hopeful that I would be able to do something useful. But I think I'm gonna try to do it like this, anyways. I'm gonna make a charge action with Megrim over here. Alright. And I'm gonna try to deal some damage. I'm rolling three die, uh, dealing two damage, looking for fury. And I get to re roll one attack die. Alright. I roll one defensive die. And, um, and I can't choose another target for him, so this doesn't matter. So. Um, that is a success. Are you having a dodge roll on this? Uh, no, when he's inspired, he has the okay, okay. shield rolls. Yeah, so yeah, it's a success yeah, for this you. Is yeah. a success, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna drive you back then, so that if you want to hit me, then you have to. Yeah. Um, do you want to play anything? Um, or wait, sorry. I almost forgot. I almost. Uh, I'm gonna score uh, price beyond measure. Score this immediately after an activation if one or more surviving friendly fighters hold an objective and have three or more upgrades. And Fjol Grimnir is on point. Yeah, he does. That's nice. I want to spend one glory point to play Arm of the Sitai. Minus one dice from adjacent fighters attack action to this. The target is fighter to a minimum of one. On to Furianus once again. Yeah. So she's just three, three attacks or three upgrades. Do you want to play anything else? No, nothing right now. I'm putting um, uh, Great Fortitude on to uh, Elthane. Okay, I want to do thing. Yeah. Yes. And with that, I am placing a shoal token. Yeah. Uh, and then it's your second activation. Yeah, my second act activation, and I'm making a charge action with um, thing over here. Okay, onto my territory. Yeah. I think it's a bad day to be Tafe right now. <laughs> it might be. Uh, I'm rolling. We'll see. I'm rolling three dice and I'm looking for hammers. It's cock, but it, it doesn't matter. But uh, you still have two successes, so I need a yeah. crit. And I do not get it. So Tafe is taken out of action yeah. and he awards you a, a glory point. It has a range of two, right? He has a range of one. He has a range of one. All right, then I think I'll scuttle. No, I won't scuttle. <laughs> okay. I think I want to play activated runes onto Fjol Grimnir. He makes, he gets to re-roll an attack roll. Yeah. But I don't know if he wants to go in the <laughs> <laughs> into the abyss. Yeah. Uh, do you want to play anything? I'm gonna play Hunter of Souls onto uh, Tamil. It gives him plus one damage when he's attacking a fighter that has one or more wound tokens. One or more damage or one or more attack die? Uh, one plus damage. Okay. So it's gonna super kill him. <laughs> yeah. Super and cool. I want to sidestep Fuel Grimnir one step over here. Alright. Yeah, then I, if you wanna sidestep him, I'm gonna play Phantasmal Forms. In the next activation, friendly fighters have a defense characteristic of three dodge. Three dodge? Oh. But I can't really... Okay, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> I don't want to play anything in response. Yeah. And if we go into my attack action... Attack action? <laughs> not even <laughs> activate. <laughs> <action. laughs> I'm gonna have... Uh, he's rolling so, so few dice. But he has... Uh, he had cleave, so he would have been... Really well positioned to deal with Dune Claw. But yeah. I think he's gonna hope for a crit. Two yeah. dice, looking for smash. You get a smash. And I'm gonna mm. reroll one. Mm, double smash. And Doom Claw, he has. He rolls two dice. Though. But he has three because you gave him the, the three defensive. Fantasmal. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Ooh, crit, crit. Super defensive. Yeah, yeah. that's alright. So, do you want to play anything? Uh, I don't. But I do want to move uh, Spine Film if you don't want to play anything. Oh, uh, that's fine. Alright, then Spinefin is going over here. Okay. 
I think that I'm just going to do this. I'm going to make a charge action over here and I'm gonna shoot um, at Fjord Grim there. Okay, that sounds really good because then you can push me or drive me back or... Yeah, so I'm rolling three dice and I am looking for swords. Uh, get two swords, two oh, swords. three successes. And I'm needing that crit then. I have one die with reroll. Ooh, one <laughs> crit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's good enough. Uh, I can't really. Okay. Yeah, it's not much to say, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Fuel green and that's what fuel <laughs> green does. Yeah. I don't want to play anything. I don't even have any action for it. Okay. So then we just go into my next third activation. Yeah. A fuel grimner once again tries to deal oh, with it. He swings once again, and now I don't have my defensive upgrade. Scary, scary. Uh, to the night, looking for smash. One smash. One smash. And I get one reroll, which I should use. Yeah, all double smash. Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> get a crit as well. Uh, crit yeah, where, when you needed it. Yeah. I'm gonna give dominant defender to fuel grimner. Uh, if I'm holding an objective, I'm always on guard, but if I get a crit on my defensive role, regardless of where I am, then I get the Primus token. Alright, that seems good. Um, but I'm gonna make an attack action with Doomclaw. Yeah. I'm gonna hit you back. Um, I feel like I can win this, this back and forth. <laughs> it would be really <laughs> So I'm rolling three dice, looking for uh, um, uh, swords. Uh, don't get any. Yeah, um, even though you have defensive supporting attacks, you don't have that. No. Now I have a choice to make. No, I don't even have a choice. I need to do it. I, I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm just gonna I need to hit him. <laughs> I need to hit them back. All right. How so about looking for smash? Yeah. You will insta kill me if he gets this. One smash. Uh, I get one success. So but we... I have cleave, so I don't care about your shields. Oh, you have cleave? Yes. Mm. Then I'm in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> then I... How much? <laughs> Four damage. <laughs> yeah, that's way too much. Way, okay. way too much. So, then uh, I'm gonna score some search objectives. I'm gonna score search of aggression. I gain the primacy token, but I also make a successful attack with 4 plus damage. Yeah. And I'm also gonna score sign of Grimnir. Uh, score the if you really takes an enemy fighter out of action. Yeah. Ah, oh, I, I forgot one thing here. Uh, for the sake of things, I should have pitched a card both times. Pick an enemy fighter. You, because you could have forced me to attack uh, Spinefin. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's right. But that's my mistake, though. Oh, but it's mine mm. as well. I, I mean, we specifically, so. I mean, I have two good cards there. I'm willing to pitch them just for the sake of it. All right. Perfect stance <laughs> piercing stuff. All right. Piercing stare is really good. Yeah. I would have uh, opted it to use it. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, but... <laughs> um, yeah. And then we head into your scoring stuff. But do I want to play... That was your... I'm gonna place a shoal token though. Yeah, just, just always good to it. have them. I'm gonna put it over here so I can jump if I, if I want to. Um, Alright, so my scoring step. I have a martial adept. Uh, score this in an end phase. Uh, if one or more friendly fighters um, each have three or more upgrades, and uh, Furian does. Yeah. And I also have. Uh, oh, I can't score this anymore because you messed it up for me. But I have this one. Should be alright. Wait, one, two, one, two. Yeah. Uh, unafraid. Score this in the end phase if each swiping friendly fighter is within two hexes of one or more swiping enemy fighters. So I have that one as well. I think that I'm keeping the one that I have uh, here, I'm drawing two new ones, and five new dark cards. Unfortunately, I don't get to score anything. I kind of wish you didn't flip your token there. But I'm gonna discard Wasteland, and then I'm gonna draw one new objective, and then I'm gonna draw five new. And now my guys are... Um uninspired once again let's go for a roll off crit and half that's pretty good well, i'm content mm, yeah oh. crit almost but you good. are you are better okay 
So, you have an advantage, you have one point advantage on me. No, I didn't get one for June, though, right? If you didn't take one, you didn't. So then we're equal. Then we are equal. I'm gonna have to regret this one if <laughs> I... It's good everything is on camera, so... <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Everyone sees the mistakes that we do. I can't really use him right now. I'm gonna have to make you go to me. I'm gonna make <laughs> a movement action go over here with... Uh, uh, <laughs> they all look the same. <laughs> they all look... This is Magrim. Yeah. All right, uh, so that's your first activation. Yeah. So in the end of your... I'm gonna move this over here. Okay. Um, Oof, now do you have that spine film <laughs> talk? Yeah. So I'm gonna play... I'm gonna spend and play Soul Bond. Uh, when this fighter makes an attack action, if the friendly attained within three hexes, this fighter is considered to be supporting this fighter. It's restricted to Tamil, so... Uh, I'm gonna play an upgrade onto Fjolgrimner. I'm gonna play Seal of Ordolos. Yeah, Seal of Ordolos, that sounds, sounds good. I'm also gonna spend this to play Fighters Frosty. On a critical hit, this fighter attack action has one plus damage onto Furian. So she really does deal damage. Yeah, do you want to play anything else? No, unfortunately I don't have anything really good to play right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna play Augmented Limbs as well. This fighter is a quarry, if this fighter is a quarry, this fighter's range one attack action has one plus die. Onto okay. Furian as well. So she has one really nasty attack coming up this attack activation. Sometime. Um, yeah. On this action phase. Sometime very, very soon. <laughs> but the question is, you want me to come to you. I'm, I'm just gonna make an attack action with uh, Tama. Just throw his spear. Sure. Um, three dice, looking for swords. Okay, yeah. so Megrim is in a much. Then he can't... Uh, and it's Crit. Crit. Doesn't get it. But he only takes one damage. Yeah, but he only has one life, so <laughs> <laughs> it all adds up. Yeah. Yeah. This one, no, this one is, is super tricky. This okay, one is okay. super tricky. Uh, Alright, what does this say? I need to check the wording here. When this fighter makes an attack action, if there's a friendly attain within three hexes, that fighter is considered to be supporting this fighter. And then I have orchestrated kill. Score this immediately after a friendly fighter attack action that takes an enemy fighter out of action, if the friendly fighter had one or more supporting fighters. I think that's uh, yes, clear. Yes, it should. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would, in every day in the week, I would count that. Yeah. So, you're getting even further ahead of me. Uh, I'm gonna play a weird one. <laughs> or, or, or if we are in the action step. Yeah, we are. I'm gonna play Not Lost. I'm gonna scatter five. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, do we have the scatter token somewhere? Where do we put it? It's the new scatter token. Yeah, never used. And I, if I enter a, so you you place it first, right? It, yeah. Uh, or will I roll? And then if the chain enters one more empty hexes that contains a feature token, mm -hmm. place the chosen fighter in one of those hexes. But don't you have to place this before you scatter? Where do we put the rule book? You can now show us how the token is oriented and which hex you place it in. Then roll a number of dice. You place this one first and how to orient it. And then you roll the dice. Okay. Then it's gonna be much, much worse than I thought. But it's it's a dead card in my hand otherwise. Because I basically was planning on getting four uh, successful rolls of one of a kind. And but then you I could still? Yeah, but now mm -hmm. I need to place it in the direction. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going from... Uh, <laughs> All right, but you can choose this one, which has no chances you can. Yeah, because I wanted to go over there. Oh, you wanted to go over there? Uh, okay, but let's <laughs> but go. you need to put it, yeah, but it's standing here. Okay, it's, so it's standing here. Yeah. Th then it's even worse than I need. Okay, so here we go. Five crits. <laughs> <laughs> no. But well, you can still cool, but... move around a bit. I can, I can end up on this uh, hex if I want to. And I don't think that's the worst, because you're just gonna... Oh, well, you're gonna push me into the... <laughs> How can well, you end up on that hex? Uh, because I just need to start do the chain like this. Uh, double fury, or like double fury, hammer, hammer. And uh, if the chain enters one or more empty hex that contains a feature token, place the chosen fight to one of those hexes. Otherwise, nothing ha happens. All right, so you can just go back. Yeah. yeah. So as long as I get one result, I can go into this hex. Yeah. 
And I think I'm gonna do it. All right. Yeah. Seems seems fair. Uh, well, it's it's not what I wanted, but uh, reading the card or knowing the <laughs> rules uh, helps. But that was in my. Uh, how much damage does he does? Four damage, right? He doesn't yeah. have anything that gives him more damage. Oh, four. Really. Yeah. Then I'm gonna play scavenged armor and put it on uh, El Thane to give him plus four one wound. So you can survive a hit from Fury Brimner. And uh, do we go into my activation then? Or... Yeah, it's your activation. And uh, I have this really weird turn. Where I'm just gonna draw a... I'm gonna draw a power card. I don't want to play anything, but I do want to push the shoal token over there. Okay. And I don't particularly want to play anything right now. Then I am making another attack action with this guy. Sure. So I'm rolling... Three dice. I oh. get a crit. crit. And I'm rolling three dice and I need a crit as well. Then. I get a crit and double successes. Oh, that's but not very good. Now it becomes special because the seal of Ordalos yeah. says that uh, if I roll a crit, you deal one damage to this fighter and you get one glory point. Is it both or is it or? It is e in sequence. Deal one damage to that fighter and gain. Yeah. All right. But yeah. dominant defender. I get the primus token. Yeah. That is correct. I'm gonna use this one for primus. Yeah. That was my second activation. But I think I'm gonna hold. I don't see any particular reason to. Yeah. Drawing a card. Alright. I don't want to play anything, but I want to move Spine Fin if you don't have anything. Okay. Right, Spine Fin moves. And then it's my third activation, and I am uh, moving with uh, this dude over here, making a charge action. Uh, so I'm rolling three dice, and I am looking for hammers. Yeah. Did you have a cleave or something on that guy? Uh, he doesn't have cleave. Okay. So crit and hammer. So two, two successes. Two successes. And I'm gonna need a crit. All of you guys. Double crit. Double crit. Oof. Man, that's rough. <laughs> yeah. Um, Do you get another glory point? Yeah. Even if you don't take a damage? Yeah, it's uh, seal for the Yeah, blocks. yeah, it's because you rolled crits. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But do is it for every crit or just for one crit? Just for one crit. All if right. I roll, it result with one more crit. Yeah. All right. I don't have anything. I, I would like, like to play great strength on Trufjol Grim. Ooh, have you been keeping that <laughs> for when I yes. come close? <laughs> oh so, man! Oh man! Uh, that's not very good. And he has four life, right? Now he has four life, yeah. He has, or he great, has five, five with scavenge. He has great fortitude. No, it's six life because of scavenge armor. He has great fortitude and scavenge armor, so six life. Okay, six life. So I can't really kill him now. And I would like to attack something with a weak defensive characteristic. I think I'm gonna make a charge action. And I'm gonna make a charge action over here. And I am rolling two dice, attacking. What's his name? Tamal. Tamal, yeah. Looking for hammers. And you get, get re-roll something, right? I get one re-roll. Get one crit. Ooh, wow. He only has one defensive die. <laughs> so close. <laughs> yeah, that's not good enough. Then, he takes five damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not... Uh, yeah, he's dead. For sure dead. Yeah. Dead, dead. Uh, dead. I would like to score Savage Exemplar. Scored in the middle of the leader's attack action that takes an enemy fighter out of action. Yeah. So I want to play Strength of the Swarm. Plus one dice to the next attack action made by a friendly fighter if the attack has one or more supporting fighters. That was the plan. Uh, now it does nothing because <laughs> you killed Tamil, but uh, I got to play yeah. it. I'm gonna play Indomitable. The first time a friendly fighter suffers damage in the next activation, they suffer one damage. That really messes with my plans here. It's my final activation. Can I actually do something? Do you want to play anything else? Otherwise, I'm gonna play additional. Uh, I don't have anything more to play now. I'm gonna play Symbiote's Call. Pick one feature token with one hex 
of one or more friendly fighters. Uh, then pick one, flip that token or push one friendly fighter so that they are in the same hex as that token. I'm gonna push this one. Is that everything you want to do? I don't have anything else right now. Yeah, then I'm making a charge action over here. Yeah. Rolling three dice, looking for uh, swords. Oh, that's a, that's a really good roll. Yeah. And not only do I need to roll a crit so that I get another glory point, <laughs> I need to roll double successes as well. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's a super good roll. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What <laughs> do you get? Um, I take another damage. <laughs> yeah. So he's not dead, but he is. Um, yeah, he's not, not feeling poor, great. Poor shape. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have anything else I want to do, to be honest. Yeah. Then we go into the scoring step. Yeah. See if I can equalize because you have a point lead on me. But how much? Before we do it, we should count it up. Yeah. It's four. It's six. Eight. Ten. Ten. I have thirteen. But I get path to victory, so that's two points because mm -hmm. I killed the. Uh, time in the preceding action phase and I'm holding two objectives. And I'm gonna score path of order, I'm holding two objectives and there are two enemy fighters out of action. Yeah. But I do not get to score anything else. Alright, then it's my turn. And we start with intimidating display. Yeah. Uh, three did, or did, more. did I take yeah, yeah. three or more this is primacy. Yeah. Um, Three or more friendly fighters is, is in the... And I also have the highest yeah. point characteristic. So that puts me at uh, 14, which means we're equal at this point. You do have the primacy. Primacy, so you're gonna need yeah. something. You're gonna need at least two points, otherwise I'm gonna... Yeah. Uh, do you have it? You did mess it up for me, unfortunately. <laughs> I did not get an equal contest because it did this... Oh, yes! It did uh, not became a successful because... <laughs> yeah, you did all that. And Fearless Seeker scores in end phase if two or more friendly fighters are on feature hexes in enemy territory. And I could not score that since you moved it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, but other than that, it was a really, really close game. Yeah. So I'm saying good Thank game you for a good game. <laughs> so 14, 14, you have the primacy 15, and you also have yeah. objectives. So you would have won in an um, equal as well. So well, the dwarf <laughs> score their um, first um, victory, I think. I think it's the first one as well. And I'm super happy. And, yeah. and, um, it was a weird game for sure because I felt as if none of the dwarves <laughs> really did anything <laughs> other than Fjolgrim. <laughs> yeah, but it, 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 uh, it worked out I guess. And, and yeah. he, he was really hard to deal with. I, I don't know how many times I attacked him. Uh, but yeah. he never really took any damage. But uh, I have to say, I mean, Elephane Solre, they are scary. I mean, yeah. they are so coordinated. You were ganging up mm. on my no. team here and you crushed everything and it was only Fjolgrim there that could stood up to the challenge. And that was probably only due to uh, Seal of Order loss. Yeah, but I think, I mean, playing the, the long boards of, with Fjolgrim there with his two movements yeah. seems really stupid, <laughs> but I don't think it is. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, because I, I basically can't go onto your side. So if, if, yeah. if you have a defensive warband and you have, like, if you have more tokens on your side, yeah. then I'm screwed. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a bit, but against an aggressive warband, it's, it's really difficult. And the, uh, I feel like the tokens get very spread out as well. Uh, yeah. So it's difficult. Since I'm aggressive, I'm, I'm happy with having three on your side, but it's, it's quite hard to, to hold them, I think. Yeah, um, and uh, that, that is the thing I thought about the dwarves as well, because I knew that I'm gonna park one dwarf onto an objective and I'm basically never gonna move in. I was really uncertain how everything else would go. It was only due to sheer luck, <laughs> I think. That I managed to stay stay afoot because I never rolled as many crits as I did in this. Yeah, there, there was a lot of crits. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, yeah. I mean, a, a, a win is a win, and I think the the dwarves performed quite quite nicely. Yeah, um, I don't know if they have every card they need. There are cards that are still going to be released, so hopefully they will get some additional support because it's really wonky to build them with their yeah. objective deck. Yeah, but this card is really good. Uh, seal of Ordolos. Yeah, and I think it I think it functions quite nicely with the Dominant Defender as well. Yeah. Because whilst you're giving away a uh, glory point each time you roll a crit, you at least get the Primacy token. Yeah. But like, this is the, the kind of warman that you have to rely on Fjord Grimnir. You have to make him kind of yeah. a, a tank dude. But he, he is scary. I mean, he's for four. 
Yeah. <laughs> if you can get him some attack upgrades as well, he, he'll kill anything. He's, he's a force to be reckoned with for sure. It's only a few Grimnir, Moloch the Mighty, and Mir Kainan that has an inspired attack about yeah. the, uh, about four, and four damage. So, yeah, but uh, it I, is wonky to get him to be inspired because you're basically wasting the first activation by trying to get them into an objective. Yeah. And since they have that inspire mechanic, I think that you want to play an um, objective-based strategy. Yeah, yeah but you can play a defensive one. Yeah. Before we were going into this game, I was looking up their uh, like original <laughs> deck, their Rivals yeah. format deck, yeah. and um, <laughs> it's absolute <laughs> trash. Yeah, I've seen it as well. Yeah, but it, I, they are really bad. The the original deck. I think the Rivals format does seem promising for the newer warbands, but looking at the older <laughs> warbands, yeah. it does feel really really weird. Yeah, playing like like chosen access against uh, yeah any of the new warbands that that's rough, really rough. But I think that that uh, with the new Alliance, Grand Alliance cards, the, the older warbands such as, as the Chosen Axis should get, get stronger. I mean, they're, they're never gonna be tier 1, I, no. <laughs> I mean, but, but uh, they definitely should be, be more playable, for sure. Yeah, I, I, th I think that uh, they could benefit from some additional cards, because the last season wasn't really kind to them. No. But I'm feeling, hopefully, optimistic for this one. Yeah, and it's kind of a fun time to, to build new decks as well, because all of the beast grade has rotated out, and now you only have the Dire Shasp and the Core Set for Harrow Deep, so there's quite a limited card pool, yeah. and that, that makes deck building more challenging in, in a way, and in a fun way, I think. Yeah, yeah I think so as well. It's kind of like when we play Warhammer Fantasy. It's yeah. like not the best when you have everything at your disposal. It's better yeah. when you have to make compromises. Yeah, because now you don't have anything you want, and you have to pick some like cards that are quite out there. And like, <laughs> yeah, well, could I could I make this work? Yeah. Maybe I was uh, <laughs> having that uh, random moment <laughs> yeah. scatter uh, card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think that's absolute trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially as I did, as I misunderstood how the scatter. <laughs> yeah, the scatter it's used so ra rarely that 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 it's it's. Uh, yeah, we always. Uh, it's it's kind of weird that it's a mechanic in the game. I mean, it's so so very weird. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but this time we will play it correctly at least. Uh, I, I believe. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know, but but I think that uh, me placing myself onto this hex was okay. Yeah. But I mean, uh, I, I really there's two of these cards. There's equal contest and unequal contest, and uh, unequal is when you need to have every. Uh, Everyone needs every uh, yeah, role needs to be successful. successful. Yeah, need to be successful. And in an equal parity with. Yeah, the, you have to roll the same. And I think equal is way better than unequal. Um, unequal is where you have to succeed, right? Yeah, unequal. Now you need, with that one, you need to score immediately after fight a successful attack action if the attack roll only contains successes. Oh, okay. So I, I guess if you have a lot of fighters that roll only one die or something. That's yeah, or good. if you have a warband that gets to re-roll a uh, die. Yeah, because... Re-rolls makes it stronger at least. Yeah, but in this warband I roll three die with most of my guys, and I need to roll all successes to score this. And I did in the end, but you draw two crits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, equal contents where you have to roll the same as your opponent. I think yeah. that's better, because that happens quite often that you roll the same number. Yeah, but I, I, was, I was trying to find the opportunity to play it, because I had it in my hand. But... Ah, contents and equals, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have it as well? But, uh, I, because I want to try out the new cards. I think mm. this is a good time to like... Because there is going to be combat regardless of what warband you play. Yeah. Un unless you play the Chosen Axis or Chosen Axis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, Long no. table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so sad. <laughs> but uh, I, I, think, I think you're correct. I, I would prefer this one over the other one. But I think the other one has merits as well. I think yeah. if you are the aggressive warband where you are likely to have the better... Um, attack result, like let's say that you have rerolls or something. Uh, but this should be really good, for example, with uh, Ripa's Snarlfangs and use it uh, there as well. Yeah, uh, Ripa's yeah. definitely because then yeah. you get the uh, additional attack from the wolf as well. Yeah, so in, in that deck, it, it, this is super strong. But I think that the content of these two cards, Contest on e of Equals and Unequal Contest, these are going to see a lot of play. I think both of them are going to Yeah, I think they, they, they are natural cards to at least consider when making the deck. 
Yeah, I, I think so because they can work in, in a lot of contexts. Yeah. So I like that. Otherwise, I'm, I'm super excited for getting more illusionary upgrades. Uh, I think the concept is great, but there's not enough of them and yeah. not a lot of good ones yet. Did you see the new warbands that is getting released? I did. The the pirate the pirate ogre. Um, can't remember what they were called, but but uh, the the pirate ogre. And I guess you're excited since you play uh, Ogre Kingdom in Warhammer Fantasy. Yeah. And you're probably I'll, I'm, I'm gonna need. Uh, it's a great addition because I'm gonna need some man eaters. I'm <laughs> lacking yeah. on those, but uh, they might have something thematically like uh, illusionary cutlasses or an illusionary blunderbuss. Yeah. It would be really fun if they have something like that, and uh, I think the, the war mat looks looks fun. It's like it looks like uh, Rogtorn's man trappers 2.0. Uh, yeah. He just like Rogtorn, he also has the two like helper goblins or whatever they're called. Yeah, the noblers. Yeah, noblers. Um, I, I think it's weird that they release so many war bands that seems to be similarly designed. Like yeah. uh, obviously the theme is wholly yeah. different. But uh, we have seen this warband where you have one big fighter and you have supporting weaker yeah. minions. Yeah, it's it's a bit weird because you have Frogtorn yeah. and the warband is basically exactly the same. It's like <laughs> him yeah. as a big dude and there's small like minion guys. It would have been, I think it would have been fun to have like m more in the line with uh, like two strong fighters. Like two ogre man eaters and then perhaps the monkey or something. Yeah. And they have the parrot as well. I, I'm not sure why why they do that. I mean, I don't really care, but they, they've released a lot of birds lately. <laughs> and there's coming a parrot, and they have the fly mechanic, and a lot of fighters also have birds sitting on their shoulders. You have this guy. Um, he also has a bird sitting on his shoulder. Yeah, the new uh, cruel uh, cunning crew. Yeah, uh, he has a bird sitting on yeah. his shoulder. And the new Sanders Trucci Seekers, they have a bird model, and now we're getting a... What's up with the birds? I, I don't have anything against birds, but it just, it's just weird. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah. yeah, and hopefully we get some new players in the community as well. I guess uh, our friends in the city next, or if you could call it a city. <laughs> it's one of the smallest cities in Sweden, but it is still a city. So. Yeah, technically uh, speaking. Yeah. Uh, but we hope for uh, yeah, some new faces. Yeah, hopefully, as we do in fantasy, we bring in, in guest players all the time, and I think we could do the same very soon with Warhammer Underworld yeah. as well, as we are spreading the, the love <laughs> for, for the game. Yeah, but um, it is a great game. Yeah, it is it's a great game, uh, I really do think so. So, But once again, thank you for, for yeah. the great game, the dwarves have won. Uh, it's <laughs> been your, your dream since we started playing, he's wanted to win with the dwarves, and, and the day is finally here. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so back to the workbench for, for playing Soul Raid. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video.